What's it doing here? Doesn't look like it's after us, somehow. Wanna follow? Even better, let's make a big sign saying, We're idiots, please shoot us. You what? Give it a rest, Lance. So, what's the plan, Noah? Right. Since it's a Pharonis, it'll doubtless have a bunch of people enslaved to a flame clock. They might not be too happy to see us, though. We'd be lucky if that was all. Consuls, or rather Mobius, could be there too. True. Which is why, whether we follow them or not, we need to think carefully. For honest before at Ishan Isle. So then that means Mobius might be over there. They could attack us at any time. Let's proceed with caution. Ha! Visitors, eh? Huh? A spark in. Mobius! Oh, what an impulsive pair ye two make. Anyway, cool your heads and have some grub with me. if you want energy. Don't go telling me you don't eat now. Yeah, get real. What's this deal? But you're all skin and bones, the lot of you. <laughs> right, laddie? All right, steady on. Anyhow, I'm not even hungry. I'm not gonna bite your heads off, pipsqueaks. Just stand there. Um, what do we do? I, I guess we can't just ignore him. I do love the sea, so I'm taking this thing on a trip. Mobius? On a trip? Of course! A man's life is a long journey. 
Walk your path without a destination, and you'll get little encounters like this one. Yeah, uh, if you think we're gonna trust a Mobius, you're off your rocker, man. Ho-ho! Sounds like you're in an awful pickle and no mistake. What a disaster for ye. But you see, Mobius I may be, but I don't got any orders regarding ye. I'm a free agent, says I. Anyway, there are things on the sea so tasty they'll make you weep. Along with some gigantic monsters. So I arranged for them to be here. Things you land lovers would never dream of. You mean you're mixing the colony up in all this? Just so you can have a bit of fun? Guess you're right. I just love watching the sea from a Ferranus, truth be told. Therefore, free agent that I be, I work as Colony 15's consul with a spot of moonlighting as the commander. The other Mobius tell me rubbish like your name is T. Perhaps it's fate I met up with you lot. So if you please, you can call me Captain Triton. Um, somebody tell me what's happening? Captain Triton, I get what you're saying. I do, but... Noah, you ain't humor in this windbag. Indeed. Can't listen to any words from this man's mouth. His crazy, reckless schemes will get friends dead, smashed to pieces. And what? Once I get an idea, I have to put it in motion. Otherwise, nothing around here would happen. The Kevin's awesome. He might be an ugly lump, but he can smash a big monster clear into next year. Well, I like a good challenge. So we spend a chunk of time going around it. Wait, who are you calling ugly? Whether they're in the sea or the sky, we find big nasties and biff them up good. Right. Gotcha. You definitely called me ugly. Look, Mia, we're better off keeping away from this lot. You can't be best pals with a Mobius. Come now, young folk. You only just arrived. Fancy a little contest. A contest? The wind brings me a couple of rumors. Such as all of ye being pretty capable. Seeing fellow warriors always gets me fired up. So, it be contest time. What are you on about? No way I'm doing that. Scared, eh? Eh? Hi, you're lily livers. Huh. Guess Uroboros just run away with their tails between their legs. That right? Lily liver. Who are you calling lily livered? Just leave it, Lance. You're wasting your time bothering with someone like him. Must be nice for you, leaving one foot out the door so the sparks won't fall on you when there's trouble. You're frightened to get knocked down, so you're making out like you're warning him. You trying to save face or something? Be you so scared of Mobius? That's Lily Liver, or my name's not Captain Triton. I'll give you Lily Livered. Thick settle then. Been looking for someone hot blooded. Happy? Make the preparations. Men of the Sea. Triton's Triple Challenge. My power vested in Appy. Appy will now explain rules of contest. Huh? You mean we're actually going through with this? Uh. Rules are simple. In vicinity of Colony 15, there are three islands. Each island have specific challenge. Team that solves challenge fastest wins points. <laughs> if that's all we need to do, this will be incredibly simple. I totally thought this was going to be a big punch-up. Where's your sense of romance? Ain't no contest in a straight-up fist fight. For friends' informations, Colony 15 soldiers wait on each island to observe contest. Contest teams are... All of Friend's team versus the captain and three others. Hey, so we have a bigger team. Doesn't seem fair. 
Phoebe guests, you see. I'll accept a handicap by way of hospitality. Oi, are you having a laugh? Ignore it. He's just provoking you. A man doesn't go back on his word. Now then, all of you, get to it! Friends prepared? First challenge is at Ishad Isle. Talk to Ronya to find out more. Let contest begin! Sweet! Let's poke her out! Always nice to see a new face. Something so valuable here. Always nice to see a new face. There you go. Let's get it done snappy. I'm so ready for this. First come, first serve. Show us what you've got, Ron. Ron called a land handshake. You're on fire, land. Eyes over here. Cheers for that. Impulse. Who oh. keeps them in check? <laughs> I'd say we were moving in sync. Right, Tile? Guys, get ready to fight. Eat it! Make this Eyes over here! Cheers, you're the jet. I'd say we were moving in sync, right, Tile? Shall we deal with this? Eyes over here! Cheers, not again! Have that! Ah. Couldn't keep them in check! I'm the one you want!
and we're done. Did we win? I saw it all. Maybe you aren't such land lovers. <sighs> you're late, Captain. I'm afraid that means you lose. Looks like you're all mouth and no trousers, eh, Captain? <sighs> Look at you. You're knackered. Who's taking the handicap now, eh? I must have ate a bad shrimp or something. That be all. Now on to the next one. And don't ye even think about backing out now. Set a course for Dadal Oil. Who's backing out? We're the ones kicking his ass. See a new face? I'm just gonna lie here and you can't stop me. Like I could lift mountains. Hey, where to from here? I'm starving. Got anything I can eat? This reminds me. Red! 
doodah right here. This is what we were after. Be our target. This is what we've picked. Get a load of that. Oh, ho, interesting. Yeah, they be here first. All right, beef. Taking it easy, are we? Unlike some people, I have a more discerning eye and take my time with things. Anyway, what have you got there? A rock, is it? Ha, ha, ha. You reckon you'll beat me, plonking down a little old rock? Say that again. This is what I brought. Any fool could see it's bigger. Whoa. That is pretty big. Oh, good choice, Captain. This local fruit is said to be jaw-droppingly delicious. Totally true. My nana could have told you that. Hm. That'll be a win for me, then. Our guests are the winners, Captain. What? I did ask for the most valuable booty. What our guests have brought sells for ten times more than that coconut. And while the coconut is certainly delicious, its value is only so-so. Maybe the value is only so-so, but have you seen it? Look at the size, and it tastes fantastic. Bigger be better than smaller, says I. It's worth more in size, therefore I win. Friend right. Taste alone make it bestest treasure. Hey, whose side are you on, Shortcake? Manana will not make fibs. Tell Manana what's more important than deliciousness. Ye can't say fairer than that. I win. No, you did not win. Just man up and accept you lost. Captain, accepting defeat is part of being a man of the sea. You've really got me over a barrel here. Well played. 
But the next one's gonna be mine. You'll see. Come to Cape Arcafor. I'll give you a damn good thrashing. Oh. That man is a few screws short of Elevenis. Ahoy, guests. What's up? We want to know what you're doing here. That's what's up. That's no good, friends. You're supposed to be taking down that monster. Oh, did I explain that to you already? No, you'd scuttled off somewhere, so we had to get the deets from someone else. Well, that's no good then, is it? If you waste time here, you're gonna lose. We followed the tracks here, you numpty. Ah, we got more tracks here. Oh, my... We better follow these then. Good luck, friends. You best not hang about, or the captain will sail ahead. Always nice to see a new face. Shall we deal with this? Our chances. Everybody lay into that one. Get up. Get up. Impulse away. That's the weak. I need you, Mia. Uh, yeah. we'll keep piling on the damage. Wait. Wait. Impulse way. No, Stay back. I know what you want. Matt, you might try this down. Oh, 
Yes! Now that's what I'm talking about. Now that was a bone cruncher, eh? Where are the others? No sign. Right, let's leg it back to the Pharonis. Yeah. That buffoon's going to regret making fools of us. Oof. This looks serious. Part of the protocol, in it. The big lug still isn't here. No, friends have come back. Before arrival of Captain. Have to say, Captain is not most punctual. Ah! Oh, don't tell me we're pipped to the post again. Captain! Captain is late! Is never a good thing to make guests wait. It was a piece of cake. Maybe we should have given you a handicap. Winners of contest are honored guests! Man of the Sea! Triton's Triple Challenge! Part four! What? The last challenge be a good old punch-up. The winner gets, uh... What do I need? Um, seven points? What he said. Good. Now, put him up. Oh, this is taking the piss! It's called the triple challenge! Yes, we agree for once. What happened to a man doesn't go back on his word? <laughs> He doesn't. But a man always wants more. Ugh, this clod. What crud is he spouting now? It's the same stuff he's been spouting from the start. Huh? Lance! Huh? You better pay attention. Man of the Seas, sucker, punch! <laughs> Lance! You okay? What a bloody underhanded way to start a fight, asshole. Carelessness on the sea gets you killed. A man's gotta pay attention every second of every minute. Sorry, Captain can't be stopped when he gets like this. Friends, watch out or get sucked into Captain Tornado! Snuffing oh, sucker punch. Playtime's over, matey! Ah! How about you then? I take you all out at once! Oh, my God. 
So it's settled, right? We totally won this bloody thing! Man, what a real mudder of a Mobius. Ugh, oh, my aches have aches. <laughs> you bested me. You ain't half strong. It wasn't exactly one-on-one. -on -one. To be sure, I'd have beaten any one of you in a fair fight. But I feel no ill will. Been a while since anyone knocked me down. Well, I'm feeling all kinds of ill. He's snuffing sucker punch me! I have a question. If you're a Mobius, you could have transformed at any time, right? So, why didn't you do it? Ah, young'un. Only thing I trust are these old bones on my own two fists. In a brawl, anything else kind of takes things. Besides, using anything else be no fun at all. I feel that. I think. Ah, truth be told, I've been alive so long, I've clean forgot how to transform. <laughs> oh, for sparks, don't know why I asked. By the by, wonder if I could ask you a favour. Come on, think it's a bit early in our relationship for that. If I let this get away from me now, I might not remember again. I gave up thinking ahead long, long ago, see? Well then, what is it that you need? Ah, well, I want you to smash that big old shiny thing. That's your flame clock. Mate, do you even have a clue what you're saying right now? I've been waiting for this moment. For that thing to disappear, see? Are you really sure? Yeah, tear it down, says I. Well, I'm around to watch it happen. Here we go! Finally, you're free, friends. Huh. I know it's a bit late to ask this, but are you sure this is okay? Now, you boys and girls might not be understanding this. I've been a Mobius for a long time, seen and learnt a lot about death. The thing with death is, it doesn't care about your feelings. It just comes when it wills. Now, I've seen people who live short but full lives. People who cling to every last bit of life. People who are only too happy to die. I've encountered so many people, I've lost count. But good or bad, they die while I carry on. But... But of course that's going to happen with the way the world is. If I'm going to accept things just because that's how they are, then maybe I've been living too long. Watching the way they live, I ended up thinking, wondering what fun these people could get up to if they were free. Something fun. Maybe something stupid. Fun? Sure. I think about Dougie, best strong man I ever saw. Or Serena, nobody loved to see like her. 
goon had no equal in battle. They knew all sorts of spirited folk, but no matter who they were, the flame clock would end up being their reason for living. I wanted to do something, but not even these boat hooks could put a dent in that blasted thing. You mean you tried to do it as a Mobius? Aye, but nothing came of it. That's when it really hit home that I was a Mobius. I couldn't destroy the flame clock, and after a while, I just gave up. Isn't that ironic? Man. And here I thought you were just some giant without a thought in his head. Turns out there's a bit more to you. <laughs> it be true. Getting the old noggin going is not a skill I possess. Around about the time I gave up thinking about anything, I started hearing about you lot. About us? Yep. Some idiots going around beating up Mobius, smashing up flame clocks, things of that ilk. Need I explain any more? I knew you were the ones who could release my friends, trapped by that infernal clock. Well, we did do that. Indeed. I suppose you could say that us destroying the flame clock set your friends free. But that doesn't mean that your friends would have got the same lease on life as Mobius. You don't have come out with some trait for us. For us? My name is Tyon. I be talking about in here. The heart? You mean like feelings? That's right, girl. It doesn't change anybody's lifespan, but in that moment, it's the bonds between us all. That... But you're a consul. You're telling me something's changed between you and your underlings. I think you know the answer, boy. We be equal now, not tied to each other by time, or who be above and who be below. Equal? Aye, me and ye are equals. We've had a good brawl, and now there's no grudges. So, what will you do now? Good question. I reckon I'll find the next big beastie and beat the snot out of it. <laughs> Hope you got room, kiddies. Huh? Didn't really think I'd be fighting Mobius. Ah, but I am a big boy. It'll be fine. You mean you're joining us? Yep. I bet you feel all kinds of reassured. Uh, I mean, you are pretty tough. Wait, wait, wait. Did you forget we're Uro Boros? And he's Mobius. You're gonna go against your own kind. Too right. You could live a thousand years and not get the chance to team up with Uro Burris and take a pop at Mobius. I may like an odd scrap with some toughens, but going on some idiot adventure with them sounds fun too. What do you think, Noah? He doesn't seem the type to have any ulterior motives. There's one. I've a debt to pay ye, and I've decided I'll pay it now. Otherwise, ye softies will get knocked down by the next breeze that comes along. And not because you're planning on punching us when our backs are turned? Nope. When I have a problem with somebody, I be the sort to tackle it head on. I mean, no. You definitely punched me when I wasn't looking. Have asked with your pesky details. Come on, this is a good deal. All right, you convinced me. You sure? You can't say you hate him after listening to all that. That's true. Okay. You're on the team, Triton. Glad that didn't take long. I like a good snappy decision, so I do. But if you put one foot wrong, we're kicking you out faster than you can say Ouroboros. Ha <laughs> ha! I shan't cross my heart. Just you watch, boy. I got my own special power I can help you out with. Oh, yeah? I'll keep my expectations low. Lene? What happened to Flame Clock? Oops. Guess I'd better relay the tale to my men. 
Oh, one last thing. Huh? What is it now? I got feelings deep as the sea, which I like to pound into some tough enemies. Now, I want to fight forever. But when I became a Mobius, that's when I realized that one human life would always have felt too short. I've lived my life in fear, worried that it was too short. But now, a quick scuffle with you all has helped clear things up for me. I really felt alive. Uh... I'd be grateful. Thanks to ye, I can chart a new course. <laughs> Get out of here with all that, man. Ha! You got... Always nice to see a new face. 